Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Shop. Today, I wanna to talk about Motion Pro's 90 degree carb tool, and I wanna show you why I bought it. This thing's built pretty beefy. It's made of aluminum and stainless steel, and it's got like a really good detent in the end of this, so you can count how many turns out your fuel screw is. I also like all the different tips it comes with. All of these bits have really strong detent balls in them, so once you get them snapped in, they stay in there really good. It actually takes a little bit of pulling to get it to come out. So you don't have to worry about it falling out of the end if you accidentally rotate it over. You also don't have to overthink this wrench because if you grab the, the back of the wrench and you go righty tighty with it, you are righty tidying what you're fastening. It also looks like a lot of these parts in this are replaceable, which is good because this isn't the cheapest state, but, but it should work really good for what I bought it for. So we get a carburetor here and it's got the same type of fuel screw on it as the four wheeler I've got here. And I figured showing you here on the vise would be easier to explain and then I'll show you in the wheeler afterwards. Now, essentially what we're gonna do with this screwdriver is we're gonna stick this in here and then say it's running a little bit rich. We want to lean it up about a half a turn. So we're gonna screw it in a half a turn. Well, one, two, three, four, boom. There's a half a turn or vice versa. If it's running a little bit lean, we wanna fatten it up a little bit. We can go out one turn. So let's go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, that'd be fattened up one turn. The barrel on this has eight lines on it all the way around. You can divide it up within an eighth of a turn pretty easy using the detents on this. Now you might be like, oh Casey, why can't we just use a screwdriver like this and then do that and then bada bing bada boom. Well, I will show you. All right, so the wheeler's over there warming up. What we're gonna do is called an idle drop. And basically we're gonna play with the fuel screw, the how far in or out that is, and the idle screw so we get it running really good. So this is another reason why the Motion Pro 90 degree carb tool is really what we need. Just because the motor is gonna be really hot while we're doing this, because if the motor's not up to temp, then you shouldn't do it. The motor's pretty much up to temp right now. What I want you to listen for when we do this is I'm gonna hit the throttle a couple times and it's gonna idle up and it'll hang there for a second and then it'll finally settle down. I'll try to show you guys with my hand like when it's idling up and then when it comes back down to where it is. That'll kind of show you that delay of that idle hang and how we're gonna fix that with the fuel screw. It's kind of high right now and now just kind of fell back down. So usually when that happens, that means it's kind of lean. So fuel screw, if you back your fuel screw out, it'll give it more fuel, so it'll richen it up. All right, so I just went out three eighths of a turn and the idle sounds like it's kind of dropping down a little bit. So I'm gonna give it, give it a little more on the idle screw and then we're gonna check to see how the idle hang is again. That was five eighths. So right now we're one full turn out from where we started. Now it's dropping back down a lot faster. So I think that sounded pretty good. I've just got a stubby screwdriver here to show you guys. Kind of is almost possible to do this with a stubby screwdriver. The only thing is you gotta pull off this breather hose here. You also have to not get burnt. These, this case right here is kind of warm. The, the cylinder's good and hot. You're in here trying to burn yourself. I've also had other wheelers and bikes not be this wide open in here. So I have had to use that tool before. You can't always just get it with this. I've had to get crafty and try to get uh, like bit drivers down in there and try to get it wiggled or, uh, or ended up having to take the clamps loose on the carburetor, tip it, adjust it like a quarter turn, put it back in, tighten it back up, run it again, or check the idle hang 
and then go from there. So this tool just makes it way easier. I don't need to move anything except for the recoil handle. That was the only thing in my way. Yeah, so that tool I'm excited for. The other thing that I didn't know about was they offer a part number for one of these bits, but it's an inch and a half long. I would probably recommend that. I kind of have to have that weigh at an angle in order for it to actually hit that screw. So it's actually in there like this right now. And because of that, it kind of bound up on me a little bit. And I really think that buying the longer one would be better because you'd be more up here on top of it. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you want to get yourself one of these, check out the links down below. Don't be afraid to browse around on uh, Motion Pro's website because they've got a lot of good stuff. I've got an umbilical tank from them that I use all the time. I've got a set of sink sticks for street bikes that I've used a couple times that work really good. And I have a couple other things on my wish list from them. So go down below and check out that link and uh and guys go out and fix something. Peace. All right guys, I hope this was helpful. If you want to get one of these, check out the links down below. <clears throat>